You know, you can do just about everything online these days, including shop for a home. But how do you navigate it all? Our real estate expert, TJ Larson, is here to help find your home today on the web. Thanks for being here again, TJ. When it comes to real estate, this is the man, everybody. Thank you. Knows how it all works. So the convenience, I guess, is the success, key to success online, convenience when you're shopping for a home online. It certainly helps with the convenience, absolutely. There's a wealth of knowledge that you're going to find online. Um, I've got a screenshot here of uh, one of our sites, and it navigates you through various sites where you can find everything from rental property, condos for sale, homes for sale, and all, the, all of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the issue here is that the wealth of knowledge is a good thing and it's a bad thing. You know, if you think about the old way that you'd shop for a home, you'd pull up a classified ad, you'd find a few homes that might meet your criteria. Sure. The realtor had those listings, you'd call them up, and chances are they're going to go outside to another database and they're going to find other homes. So you are going to work collectively through the classified ads and then let the realtor do their job. And so you want to make sure that you cut down on the hours of work that you may have to do online by bringing a realtor into that process. So although you can find everything there, get some expert opinion as now, well. TJ, what if I go to another realtor's website? Am I going to find all the listings there? You that? are. You okay. are. In most cases, you're going to find those. You know, some years back, uh, the realtor association went to owners of companies like myself and they said will you participate in a program called broker reciprocity it uses a program called IDX and IDX allows us to share our listings with any other real estate company that's out there as long as they will share their listings with us okay. most of us figured best thing to do is let's go ahead and go with the flow we want everyone to have access to that information and so all of the big name brands out there, my brand, if you look at my town home or Maison Properties or My Home Leasing, any one of those are going to show every listing that's available so you can find it. Just find the one that has the best search criteria for you. So with that being said, what makes a Realtors website different? I, I think it is that search it's, function, it's, that okay. feature, All exactly. Right. I think we've got a screenshot of that as well. And this just happens to be on one of my brands with, uh, with my townhome. And there's a few different ways we can look at this. If you look at the bottom right-hand side of this, uh, of this screenshot, you'll see that we had people that were calling for what's called a ring neighborhood search. They wanted to be very close, to either in uptown or very close to uptown. Okay. Push of a button, you're going to find all of those properties. Some people like to think of things geographically, and they want to be in Mecklenburg County or even outside of Mecklenburg County, top right of that screenshot shot, you're going to find that search feature. Still others said, I just want to find features on any individual home. So on the left-hand side of that, for folks who think in that manner, they can click and say, I want this number of bedrooms, I want this price, and that's the way that they're going to search. So what we figured the best thing that we could do for the consumer is provide a variety of ways that they can search. I'd like to be in Myers Park for under 100000 uh, no. All right, that sounds good. <laughs> we have not created that website yet. Yeah, well, I'm when sorry. you get it, you let me know, TJ. <laughs> How about distressed properties, like foreclosure? Can you find that online? Well, we fixed that. Uh, it took a little bit of an imagination, but what we've got is that information is not available through IDX. So if you're looking for distressed properties, you might only look in, under normal circumstances at the properties that that agency has listed. What I did is I created, and we've got a screenshot of this as well, a search form that actually will interact with the realtors that are in our office. Now, we have access to all those distressed properties through a proprietary software. You fill out that form, it gets sent to my office, the Realtors will put everything in our database and we'll send you the properties. Very nice. How about rental properties? Can rental properties. Finally, we can do that as well. We created a, high, a, a site, My Home Leasing. You can search not only for our properties, but every property that's available for rent uh, in, the, in the market today. So online is great. It's a great tool, but it's not actually a replacement for a, real, a it, realtor, though. You know, it's supplemental. Do it's great. I think everyone should use it. i got a great friend of mine right now that I'm representing up at, uh, up at Lake Norman. And Keith's out there looking at properties on his own, and he's sending properties to me, and I'm sending properties to him. And we're a team. He knows he's seeing everything because he's looking online and then he's bringing me in when he needs a resource. Very good. Well, yeah. thank you for all the great information. Of course, TJ's website is mytownhome.com. Thank you so much for being Thanks here a lot. today. Good Appreciate it.